I just want to encourage each one of us. I wonder whether in that last song there's a reminder for some of us of who has won the battle. Maybe for some of us this morning we come with fears, we come with concerns and worries. Yeah, that song reminds us that Jesus has won the victory. So whatever you are facing this morning... The victory has been won. So maybe just for a moment, if you have particular fears or anxieties or concerns at this time, just place them into God's loving, victorious hands. Know that he has won. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Uh, Do uh, take a seat. Um, So, a few things to let you know about that are coming up in the next couple of weeks. 
Um, so next weekend, we've got a few things going on. Next Saturday, uh, between 10 and 12, we have a taster morning for our Myriad uh, Learning Pathway. Um, a great opportunity to come if God is just placing a seed into your mind of how you might start a, maybe a small new worshipping community, or whether God is calling you into um, doing something in your neighbourhood or at work um, as a sort of missional outreach do come along. There's no, uh, you can come and find out more. There's no pressure to then sign up and be part of it. But if you want to know more, come along next Sunday morning, uh, Saturday morning even. Um, if you come on Sunday, you'll have missed it. So come Saturday between 10 and 12. And if you want to sign up, you can use the QR code or if you receive our emails, um, there's a link there as well. Um, and if you no, don't receive our emails but would like to, do go to the welcome desk at the back, uh, my right, your left, after the service. And there'll be someone there who will happily help you. Also, next Sunday evening, that's the 25th, in place of our evening service, we have a wonderful opportunity to hear the whole of the Gospel of Mark performed to us by um, this man here, who you can see on the screen. Last Sunday morning, we showed a video at the end of the service. It's going to be wonderful, um, telling us um, visually and through all the words of Mark's Gospel, um, the story of Jesus. Um, if you want to sign up, that would be really, really helpful because then we will be uh, doing refreshments uh, between, in sort of between the two halves of the, the performance and also so we know how many people are coming so we can out invite others from other churches if there's space. So please do sign up for that if you're hoping to come. Um, and do invite friends and family, those who might want to uh, find out more. A great way to hear the good news of Jesus, to hear the whole of Mark's gospel uh, performed live couple of other things to say. Firstly, uh, we've got our electoral roll um, being, um, is, uh, if you're on the electoral roll, that's fine. But if you want to join our electoral roll, I'll get it right eventually. Um, then there are forms at the back. If you're not sure if you're on our electoral roll, you can always fill one in. And if you're on, we just won't, we'll ignore that one. Um, but if you're over 16 and you are um, either living in this parish or part of this congregation for at least six months, you can sign up to be part of that. And that's available at the welcome desk as well. Um, the final thing to say is that um, you know that we'll be celebrating 150 years this year. We've already begun with a Kaylee dance, I get the right words, um, a few weeks ago. And um, we're going to have various events throughout the year. One of the things we're going to be doing between um, Ascension Day and Pentecost is that we're going to be having an arts festival um, in this uh, building. Lots of things happening. We're in the planning stages. But if you are someone who paints or draws or takes photographs or does pottery or um, anything else that can be displayed, we would love you uh, to be in touch. There'll be more details in the coming weeks. But just to give you a little heads up about that, it's going to be called This Is Our Story. So the idea is that we display a piece of artwork and tell our story so that people who come in can find out more about the people who are part of this church. And of course, through that, Jesus. I think that's everything. If you want our Lent book, the John Mark Homer book, there are still a few copies available. Um, we do encourage you to read that, um, or there are some, I think, some uh, booklets available still if you're wondering about how do I read the Bible um, on a daily basis. That is everything, you'll be pleased to know. All the notices, all the information, everything else is on our weekly email. So I do encourage you to read it. That would be great. Okay, so the next thing we have in our service is that we have the pleasure this morning of doing a thanksgiving service for Imogen Yielder. Um, Imogen, um, daughter of James and Lydia, sister of Elijah. And we're going to be doing a time of thanksgiving for them now. And um, I'm just going to hand some cards over here. There we go. I think if I can ask uh, Imogen to bring up her mum and dad and brother... That would be wonderful. Should we give them a round of applause as they come up? Hello, gorgeous. I'm disappointed that, that the rest of the family aren't dressed to match Imogen. I think these little, this little bow on her head would be really special this morning. Um, isn't it lovely to be able to do this, to celebrate um, Imogen, to celebrate the whole family? Elijah, lovely to see you as well. Um, we are going to say a few words and... Um, I know that there are um, people here uh, from the family, um, so there's some questions for you, and particularly those of you who are uh, Godparents sponsors, uh, do uh, join in with these. I'm hoping we've got them on the screen. 
Possibly not. Okay, so um, I will uh, say these first words and then there's some words for James and Lydia to say. We are here today to give thanks for Imogen with her family and friends and to support James, Lydia and Elijah in their responsibilities with prayer and love. God became one of us in Jesus and understands all that surrounds the arrival and upbringing of children. It is God's purpose that children should know love within the stability of their home, grow in faith and come at last to the eternal city where his love reigns supreme. Um, I'm going to get a microphone so that everyone can hear your words because James and Lydia are going to say a prayer uh, together. God our creator, we thank you for the gift of Imogen entrusted to our care. May we be patient and understanding, ready to guide and to forgive so that through our love she may come to know your love through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Thank you very much. I sprung that on them a little bit. Do apologies. Um, And then I'm going to ask some questions of friends and families. And the response is, with the help of God, we will. So you ready? Should we practice that? With the help of God, we will. Have a go. With the help of God. Brilliant. And I'd love to hear it really nice and strongly when we get there. Will you do all that you can to help and support James and Lydia in the bringing up of Imogen? Excellent. And this is for the wider congregation, so everybody, the same answer. There we go. With the help of God, we will. Will you do all that you can to help and support this family? With the help of God, we will. This is not an individual thing. This is not just a nuclear family. We are God's family. We are God's people in this place. And this is a celebration of that as well this morning. Let me pray uh, now for Imogen and the family, and I think I should get to cuddle Imogen now, don't you? Because, well, it's gonna happen. Imogen, come here, my gorgeous, how are you? Are you all right? Are you okay? So shall we thank God for you? Heavenly Father, we praise you for the birth of Imogen Taylor. Surround her with your blessing, that she may know your love, be protected from evil, and know your goodness in all her days. May she learn to love all that is true, grow in wisdom and strength, and in due time, come to faith and baptism to the fullness of your grace, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. I'm just going to keep cuddling her, if that's okay. Let's pray for the whole family. I get to cuddle um, Imogen every now and then, don't I? So, she's very cuddly. May God the Father of all bless James and Lydia and Elijah. May you give them grace to love and care for Imogen. And may God give them wisdom, patience and faith. Help them to provide for her needs. And by their example, reveal the love and truth that are in Jesus Christ. Amen. Here's some words from Mark's Gospel. You'll hear more of them next week. They brought children for Jesus to touch. The disciples rebuked them. But when Jesus saw this, he was indignant and said to them, Let the children come to me. Do not try to stop them. For the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. I tell you, whoever does not accept the kingdom of God like a child will never enter it. And he put his arms around them, laid his hands upon them, and blessed them. As Jesus took children in his arms and blessed them, so now we ask God's blessing on Imogen. Imogen, may the Lord bless you and watch over you. May the Lord make his face to shine shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look kindly upon you and give you peace. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain upon you always. Amen. I'm just going to go now. <laughs> Bye. So, Imogen, go back to your mum, sadly. You have to go back, annoyingly. Um, and should we give a wonderful welcome and a thanksgiving for Imogen? Thank you.